We are Guardians. And Guardians don't flee. They fight. What's up, YouTube? So, if you've spoken to Amanda Holiday, the shipwright lady, you've gotten a quest line from her. You've probably looked at it and was like, how the fuck am I supposed to do that? Or, fuck me, I don't even have the last word. Well, I'm here today to tell you, you can do it. Unless you don't have the last word. Then, you really can't do it. But, you're still more than welcome to continue watching this video. I won't judge you. Okay, so as what you'll need to complete the first part of this quest is, well, the last word an internet connection, and control. The game mode, not superpowers. Now, I didn't record any gameplay from actually doing the quest, but I do have this dramatization here that you're watching now. Basically the same thing. I tried to keep it true to what I actually did. So basically, you will need to, what I said, camp it the fuck up. Uh, just sit on a flag. Depending on the map, sometimes it might be easier to camp on your spawn flag. Uh, on the smaller maps, that really tends to work out. The bigger maps, you might just want to go ahead and go for B. It took me four to five games to get it done. Now, I, the reason it probably took me four to five games is because on one map, I think it was the Drifter, I was freakishly able to go like 19-0 and 0 before I was killed. Uh, so that was something crazy. Uh, by the end of it, their whole team was just coming after me because they knew I was just hiding in like one of three corners. <laughs> so yeah, you might get that lucky, you might not, I don't know. I consider myself just slightly above average. So, I mean, it is what it is. Now, you will lose some progress for every death, so keep that in mind. And this is why you have to camp it up. This works even if you think you don't have any real gun skill. I know it might seem dirty or cheap, but hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. In the next part, you have to drop 15,000 Glimmer at the Crypt Arc. Then, you have to go back and do the exact same thing you just did in part 1, but with a shotgun. Now, don't freak out, because it's actually a little bit easier. Uh, you don't lose any progress upon death, but I still recommend camping it up, as you can get it done still pretty fast. After that, you're really kind of on your own, as you need to get to 290 light level or close to it in order to do the Shield Brother Strike, which I still have yet to do myself. So, with that said, I really hope you learned something today. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, until next time.